Hello. Today we reach Psalm 133, which is the 14th of 15 Songs of Ascents, songs used by pilgrims. And of course, pilgrimage is a busy experience. There are lots of other pilgrims bustling around, bustling on the road to Jerusalem, taking up all the, uh, the accommodation and the transport. And of course, if these songs were used within the temple, there'd be lots of people bustling and pressing around. And of course, the other pilgrims were our pilgrims, fellow Israelites, their brother and sister Israelites. And how did they feel about those Israelites? Were they indifferent, puzzled, irritated, pleased? Well, we don't really know, and I'm sure all of those reactions were available at any one moment in the groups of pilgrims. But today's psalmist sings to us of the power of those relationships being right. So Psalm 133, a song of ascents of David. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down upon the collar of his robes. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life for evermore. So, this psalmist sings to us that it's not just good and pleasant when brothers live in unity, but also that there's a blessing, there's a powerful blessing to be found in that situation. And he uses two images to help us understand what kind of blessing that might be. The first seems quite unusual to us. It's about oil running down a head, down a beard and down into a collar. This, uh, this translation says, but it's the oil that was used to consecrate a priest. So it was oil that changed the status of that person from being not fit and not commissioned to do that job to being symbolically holy, holy enough to take their place as priests and commissioned to do that job. So there was a power in that oil being put on their head. But not only was it a powerful symbol and enabled them to live life differently afterwards, but in this image, it engulfs uh, Aaron, it engulfs the priest. So in fact, when it talks about the collar of his robes, that's as far as this translation takes us. But the Hebrew might well mean body, it sort of engulfs, it goes down his head, down his beard, and engulfs his whole body. So that, I believe, is a really particular part of the uh, image that we're given, that this blessing that comes from brothers living in unity engulfs you. It's a, a, a special thing. It enables you to do things. It's a holy thing. And it also is an a, a engulfing thing, something that blesses all of your life and your whole self. And the second image that's used is dew, refreshing dew. And of course, in a hot country where water was scarce, dew was really precious. It was a, a water source, something that did bring refreshing. So this blessing that comes when brothers live in unity is refreshing. And it's seen to be, if it's like the dew of Hermon falling on Mount Zion, it's something that comes from God. So it's the Lord bestowing the blessing. The Lord is able to bless the relationships and bless the people who are involved in living in unity. So it's not just good and pleasant, it's blessing and it enables a blessing to be received from God. So that's the thought to take out today, that as we live in unity with each other, we can experience that all encompassing, that holy, that even that life transforming and refreshing blessing from God. Let's seek to find each other out. Let's seek to keep in company with each other and let's seek to live in unity with each other. So commissioned, we're enabled to pray that prayer of peace and that prayer for grace. 
O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the third collect, the third prayer uh, for grace, the second prayer for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin nor run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>